But lately, there's been like these waves of, I guess, panic zone or like. Nice. But like, be, just way beyond anything I've experienced before. Epic, right? Yeah, like, seriously. Like, I can't eat, like, there's this, Great. like, total contraction. Dude, that's a like, natural way to fast. <laughs> that's excellent. Yeah, it's. Cleanse the body. You don't even uh, have to try. You just can't. Yeah. Epic. I guess that's a good. It's a good thing. It's always a good thing. Okay? It's always a good thing. Always get back to it. Whatever it is, if your mother dies, it is a good thing. If your partner dies, it is a good thing. If you're being murdered, it is a good thing. It's always a good thing. That's the way to immortalize yourself. That's the way to transcend physical ideas. And you start to feel this, and it empowers you, makes you fearless. And in the fearlessness, the flow of abundance will be endless. And the flow of clarity of your passion and your joy and your purpose here will be endless. And you'll thrive in any possible way, because that's how human life is designed to be. That's what's possible. Yeah, so I try to remember that when I'm in this state. It's like very, there's something overpowering, like it's so physical. And there's ah, overpowering. the trust. It's hard to remember. Or it's like, even Is if it? I bring these beliefs, uh -huh. there's something something in this fear that doesn't listen or can't hear that. Or what is that? Mistrust? Yeah, it's like, I'm not going to be okay. Like That's the feeling. Beautiful. Isn't that epic? It is epic, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to see that you believe you're not going to be okay in a universe that's eternal and timeless. Yeah. Which is you. You're all that is. How could you not be okay? You're everything that is all at once, all the time, because there's no time in all that once. How could you not be okay? Or perhaps you don't believe you are all that is. Perhaps you believe you are a physical creature in a physical universe, and a bullet can hit your brain and kill your existence and your ability to be who you want to be and your freedom and your soul and your spirit and your consciousness. Perhaps there is a belief that suggests you are a limited creature on a limited planet with a lot of random events. Oh, bus. Careful. Oh, angry partner. Careful. Oh, knife set. Careful. Do you believe that is what's true? Is that sort of an instinctual, automatic way of perceiving yourself in everyday life? Yeah, it doesn't feel conscious. Like there's a lot of right in the, especially in the expansive moments. It's so obvious, you know. Right. It's so obvious. And I guess there's this lingering part that just... That's all right. It's not translating to this part. That's all right. So the more you bring that truthful consciousness, that truthful conviction where you see as existence sees itself, where you see as your higher self sees, as you call them the expensive moments, right? Where everything is clear and obvious. Bring that as much as you can to every moment and every trigger that comes up for you. Epically receive that in gratitude. Don't say, oh, this is a negative appearance. It's always a good appearance. No matter what it is, it's always a good thing. If you feel like you're lowering your frequency, then that's also a good thing because it shows you you have a belief about the thing that appeared that suggests that was not a good thing. You saying that the appearance was not a good thing is out of alignment. Seeing that is a good thing. Does that make sense? Or was that too fast? Yeah, it, it makes sense. Okay. It makes sense. Okay, so it's good to see a bad thing, right? Awesome. Okay. So you have that clarity. You have access to that. You have access to the expensive moments. How would you say that is cultivated most obviously for you? When does that happen? Is there anything that seems to lead into that? Yeah, I guess maybe that's part of it. It's, there's a feeling of like it comes sometimes and it's not always obvious. It's like the highs will come, the lows will come, and there's maybe a sense of lack of control over when, you know. Hmm. I mean, you know, feeling good. You know, some days I just wake up feeling good. It's to the sense my mind is quieter, there's appreciation for the beauty around me, okay. things are flowing. Mm -hmm. What excites you? Because this sounded great, but it sounded like slightly above neutral. Yeah. Which, excellent. You've transcended most of the spiritual <laughs> Yeah, crap. that's a great Good job. step. <laughs> By a little bit. Now let's take it that much further. What excites you? Uh, having sex. Excellent. <laughs> great. I have lots of it. What else? Uh, just running, being outside. Good. So those are activities that support your expansion? Yeah. Excellent. Fill your life with these. Not excessively, not needily, but 
make a point out of creating these circumstances. Yeah, totally. Awesome. What else? What else supports you in your expansive moment? Um, connecting, community. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Do you have that around you here? Yeah. Excellent. Do you act on that? Not always. Why not? When you not act there's, on it, why? Seems like there's still lack belief around, like, I don't know, will I, will I be accepted or will I be like... Excellent. Do you care? No. I mean, I part of me does, but... Why? Part of you. Can you explain that? I don't get that notion. Is there a part of you as opposed to what? The whole of you? Who are you? Are you that part or this part or that part? Is there even parts or is there just you deciding upon something? Because it gets really confusing if there's many of you. Yeah, why not I'm just be, why not just be one consciousness? <laughs> why not just yeah. be one conviction, one state of being, one choice, one passion, one stream of abundance, one expression of consciousness? Why not keep it to that for a moment? One being, many expressions, but you are one being, no? Yeah. So there's not, oh, there's this, and then there's this consciousness and this consciousness. Just for a moment, just assume there's only you making a choice. No. An opportunity may be there to join community. And you know that supports you, and you feel that supports you, and you're even excited about going, mingling with those people, and being supported in your expansion. But part of you, which no longer exists, has the belief brings the belief to the surface of your consciousness that suggests, well, if I go, maybe, maybe I'll come across a little weird or whatever. They may not accept me. There may, something may happen there that doesn't happen here because I'm just by myself with my movie or my book. But if I go out there, if I put myself on the line, they may judge me. They may not see me. They may not accept me. Right? Do you believe that? No. It's, it's great. So it's either yes or no. You know what I mean? It's not like, no, I don't believe it, but part of me does. That's no longer here for now. Yeah. Okay. So you do believe it or you don't believe it? No, I don't. Excellent. Then why don't you go? If that's what excites you. I'm here now. Excellent. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so next time it comes up as an appearance, as a thought form, as an idea. Oh, I may not be accepted. Perfect. Epic. I don't care. Right? Yeah. Awesome. That's good. Okay, does that feel good? Yeah, totally. Do you feel like you've settled that, that particular one for now? Yeah. And so next yeah. time you feel that you're, you'll be more flowly, flowy and you stop waiting. You're not in the waiting state, but you'll be like, yes, yes. You're always yes to something. Not like hesitancy. Yes to something. It doesn't have to be everything that is presented to you, every opportunity that's presented to you. But there's always a yes to something in every moment. There's no stagnation. You're not waiting for anything outside yourself to change before you say yes to something, right? Yeah. Awesome. I don't know. I'm just wondering. I don't know what my real question is. Maybe you just wanted to put it out there to the world. Awesome. Well, thank you. That's great. Whether they accept you or not. But I think they do because you're honest. People love it when you're honest. No? Isn't yeah, that so they adorable? Look accepting. When people are honest, no matter the odds, no matter the reaction, that's so fucking gorgeous. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. It's so beautiful. That's what makes us fall in love with each other, no? Not the phony stuff, the real stuff. This is who I am. Take it or leave it. I love you. Take it or leave it. Okay, I'll take it because it feels good. I want more of that honesty. Always be honest. Always be yourself, right? It's the sure way actually to attract people that love you. So the irony is, oh, this is a little bit of a side note, and I realize that, but when it comes to relationships or getting to the point of a relationship, like you know, meeting someone that you love and then when you meet them to actually like have it progress, have it enter those realms of intimacy or just friends and family as well. But in order to gain the full amount out of that, that we desire, that type of companionship, that type of meeting, the one as the one with the one in the form of another, which is the intimacy we all crave on some level, the actual sure way to get a constant stream of that into your life is by being completely honest, is by being completely true and earnest with yourself, regardless of the circumstance, regardless of what other people might think, regardless of how you may be judged, regardless of what that person may think of you. To be completely honest, we fear, oh, I'll push them away. Well, to not be honest is a sure way to push it away or to create an untrue relationship, which is not what you're after anyway. So always be honest. It will create this whole vortex around you, this aura of amazingness, and people are drawn to that. They can't wait to be with you, to spend time with you. 
Does that make sense? So yeah. the sure way to not scare them off is to actually try to scare them off by being honest. <laughs> I like it. Yes, I like it too. That's great. Honest. Yeah. I'm, I was going to say awesome, but I said honest again. Anyway.